Welcome back to my channel. You're watching She is La Marie. I'm She, and if this is your first time seeing my face, thanks for clicking on this video. You're cool. So, I'm going to show you guys how I did this makeup look today. So, if you're interested in seeing exactly what I did step by step to create this look, definitely stay tuned. All of the products I use in this will be in the description box down below. So, without further ado, I hope you enjoy. So I'm starting with priming my eyelids. Then I move to my brows and I'm just using an automatic pencil with a spoolie attachment. Now I'm cleaning up my brows with a cream concealer, excuse me, a liquid concealer. And this concealer is about a shade lighter than my complexion. So the next thing I'm going to do is blend that concealer out just to diffuse it so that when I apply my foundation, it will blend in more effortlessly. And there are my pretty much go-to eyebrows. So now I'm taking the same concealer. As you can see, I'm kind of like opening my eyes funny because it transfers the concealer to the point on my crease where I would get the perfect cut crease for the shape of my eyes. And I'm just defining the shape that I want for my eyeshadow look, which is sort of like a cat eye. So I'm basically creating a wing with this concealer for the shape of my eyeshadow. And now I'm just going to blend the middle of that so it's even. And I start with my shadow so I'm going for a pink that's sort of like a light pale pink. And I'm going to put that on the inner half of that shape I created with the concealer. So I'm going to then take a blue color that's sort of like a slightly warm blue. And I'm just using a eyeliner brush just to make sure that I can get every corner of that shape I created with the concealer filled in with that blue eyeshadow. Now I'm basically trying to blend the two colors together in the middle.
Now that that's done, I've taken a medium deep brown to sort of create a border on the top of the shape I created. Now to make this easier, you could easily just use a blending brush and blend the same color round into the crease before creating the shape with the concealer. However, I didn't do that, so I'm just going to create that line on top of the shape and try to diffuse that and blend that out so that it isn't harsh. So I'm just continuing to blend out that brown. Now I'm just taking a couple of lighter shades and I'm going to put a very subtle highlight, a matte highlight on my brow bone. So the fun part, I'm going to be using glitter for this look. And I think these are just generic glitters. I believe I must have gotten these from eBay or Amazon a really long time ago. So I'm just matching the shadows with their equivalent glitter color. And I'm applying that with glitter glue. So that's what I'm doing right now is I'm putting the glue over the pink half of the shape. And applying the glitter on top. By the way guys, this is cosmetic gray glitter that I'm using. You never want to use arts and crafts glitter because it is not safe if it perchance would get in your eye or something of that nature. So cosmetic gray glitter will not damage your iris or any of that sort of stuff, which is why you should always stick with makeup glitter. So I'm just making sure it's packed on really good and get in, in the edges of the shape as well. Now I'm going in with that glue again. And I'm gonna fill that in with that equivalent color glitter. And you really do want these two glitters to merge together and sort of overlap in the middle. Otherwise it will have sort of a harsh line that really isn't flattering. So what I'm doing now is basically combining the pink and blue glitter to create more of a fade in the middle of the shape. The glitter gets everywhere guys, so I was just cleaning that up. Now I'm going to start on my face, so I'm just using a pore filling primer that sort of blurs my skin because I have pore problems. Comment down below if you can relate. <laughs> Always got to keep those lips moist too. That sounded weird. <laughs> so I'm color correcting 
with an orange as well as an equivalent yellow concealer or corrector. And I'm just going to diffuse that. The two of these colors together create the perfect shade for my complexion right now. Since I have a little bit of a tan, I just find it makes a nice peach color that fits me. So once that's done, I'm moving on to foundation and I have been loving my Fenty foundation lately. So I'm pretty much sticking to that. However, I did have to add a couple of drops of a darker liquid concealer just to make the color work for me with my tan right now. So I used the shade 330 in the Fenty foundation, but it looks a little bit darker now because I added some concealer to it. I like to use a sponge to finish off just to make sure it's nice and blended and I'm going to use a concealer about a shade and a half to two shades lighter than my complexion just to give me a nice highlight but nothing too crazy And I am going to use this opportunity to sharpen out the outer edge of my eyeshadow when I'm blending out this under eye concealer just to restore the shape as I originally created it. Because it definitely gets messy after you finish applying shadow and glitter. And now I'm contouring with the concealer I actually applied to mix with my foundation. And I'm adding a little more because I'm going for more of a sculpted look. I'm just re-blending out the under eye concealer before I set with powder just so there aren't any creases that get set. And I'm going to use a lot of powder today. Just felt like it. So this is clearly a yellow translucent powder. I really like to set my makeup with this. I just find that it sort of balances out the tones of my complexion and the final product is usually flattering for my shade. I'm leaving that powder under my eyes because I have to now do my lower lash line and I don't want there to be any mess. So I'm concealing my lower lash line with more concealer just so that it is a fresh a fresh base for what I'm about to do to adhere to. So I'm basically blending that out a little bit with a brush before I move in with the eyeshadows that I'm going to use and I'm simply carrying the eyeshadows that I use on my upper eye to my lower lash line. So I'm going to put the pink on the inner corner on the inner half and the blue on the outer half. So I'll just dust away that powder because now we are done with the color for the eyes. And I'm going to go over my cream contour with this foundation powder. This is one of my favorite products to be honest. Um, obviously all products will be listed below when this is the Black Radiance foundation, press foundation. And I'm in the shade 
Bronze Glow. And I applied lashes and liner off camera because it was a struggle with the glitter. Um, so I'm just lining my lips with a soft and medium brown color. I really wasn't sure what lip color I wanted to do with this look. I didn't want to do the same old thing I would typically do. So um, I decided to use a soft pink lip gloss as opposed to my go-to Fenty lip gloss. And I also applied a clear lip plumping gloss. So now I'm going to highlight and this is a champagne highlight color. That glow says yes. <laughs> so this is the finished look. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and smash that like button and smash that subscribe button for more content from your girl. And also click that bell notification because it'll make sure that you're informed every time I upload a new video. Share this video with your friends, comment down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one.